Sharks. My name is Sarah Moray. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I'm seeking $300,000 for 5% equity in my company. Sharks, we spend thousands of dollars on fancy lotions and potions and skincare products, yet completely neglect one of the most sensitive, vulnerable parts of our skin. I'm talking about our armpits. Do you think about what you put on your pits every day? I didn't until I learned that most conventional antiperspirants are made out of this. And I didn't want this going on my body. Sure, I tried natural deodorants, but they all either irritated my skin or left me smelling like a human gym bag. And that's why I created Curie, an aluminum-free deodorant that actually works, made with luxury skincare quality ingredients. Say goodbye to embarrassing BO, ugly bumps, and painful rashes, and say hello to perfect pits. <laughs> Curie uses sage oil and probiotics to beat the stink, arrowroot powder to absorb the sweat, and chamomile and aloe to soothe those delicate pits. And it doesn't stop there. Curie's line of Better Body Basics also includes our full body deodorant spray, whipped body wash, and innovative pit detox mask. All our products are made with clean ingredients, smell amazing, and they actually work. Don't believe me? I'm in the shark tank right now, <laughs> and my armpits are completely dry. Never go and smell them. <laughs> <laughs> so sharks, who wants to help me build my armpit empire? Yeah. <laughs> in front oh, of you. Man. We have one of each of our products in each of our three signature scents. Uh, Lori and Barbara, white tea is our fan favorite. We've sold it out twice nice. on QVC yeah. with that scent. The orange neroli for the men, that is the most gender neutral, the most popular with our male customers. There are two types of deodorants that we sell. You have all of them in front of you. Uh. The stick deodorant and the spray deodorant. Spray deodorant is actually our number one best-selling product. It is. This especially this for this men. One. That is in lock rooms, hundreds of gyms nationwide. We started with the stick deodorant. We got approached by a big national fitness chain, but you can't share a stick of deodorant, so we developed the spray deodorant so that it could be shareable. Uh, okay. okay, all right, cool. So that good to know about uh, guys being able to, to get in on it because I was kind of thrown off there thinking that this was uh, more or just for females. Uh, so I'm glad that Sarah, you jumped right out, like got out in front of it and, and address the, I don't, I don't want to say elephant in the room, but the, the big question on my mind as a, as a, as a male, uh, it, you know, is this something that I could try and effectively, you know, not have to use, uh, an aluminum based, uh, deodorant. I know a couple people that, that use, the organic non aluminum stuff. Uh, I know somebody in my in in the super community that watched the preview video for this, where we went over uh, Curie's website and social media, uh, said that their daughter was is allergic to aluminum and had to find alternatives. Um, I'm not sure if there's other products that aluminum is made with to do whatever with but um or or even why <laughs> why 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 is there aluminum in in those other products and and what's the uh you know the the potential harmful effects that can come along with it i know people that are sensitive to it obviously they're going to have more of a hard time with it than say people who aren't but it you know so hopefully she i mean i, I imagine uh sarah's you got some sales there because you uh, I mentioned, you know, you just like casually dropped uh, that you are on on QVC. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go on and say you you probably have done some sales. Just like we've had some sales over at shopsuperjoe.com where you can pick up your ABCs. That's apparel, books, and courses. Uh, as so you can get the the this, like the super hoodie here or the uh, super entrepreneur hat that's sitting behind me or my book sales won't save your business over all over at shopsuperjoe.com. I'd love to know your total sales. Our first year in business, 2019. Curie was a side hustle. <laughs> I totally bootstrapped that first year to $125,000 in sales while I still had a full-time job. It was 2020. Wait, sir, before you get to your next year, to do $125,000 in your first year in a single product is not easy. So there must have been some secret sauce, something you did that really drove those sales. Social media okay, was that's huge for us. Are you making any money yet? Right now, we're not profitable. I raised a round of funding. How much? At the beginning of 2020, we raised a million dollars on a convertible note. And so at the Whoa. moment, we're really investing in growth. 
Um, but we we have plans to be profitable by end of year, beginning of next. What was the raise at? We did a convertible note at a $5 million cap. What's your profit margin? On the deodorant stick, uh, that retails for $12. It's uh, $270 cost. The spray deodorant uh, retails for $14. It's $290. The body care products have a little bit higher margins, around 85%, but the deodorants are between 75 and 80 Back, I got to tell you yes. something. You are spot on with your numbers. This is impressive, the way that you can roll I up your I was a CPA. Like, so I was gonna there say, you go. Right. I, know, I knew I was going to guess your background. I got out of college, and I worked at a venture capital fund. Very entry-level job at a top VC fund. Uh, as you know, there are very few women investors. I think it's like less than 5% of VCs are females. Yeah. And so I knew if I wanted to have a seat at the table, I had to take it. I literally started just showing up at pitch meetings, plopping down and people would be like, what is Sarah from accounting doing here? <laughs> started to raise my hand, grew the confidence and started to really add value, earned myself a full-time role on the investment team and did that for about four years, meeting with hundreds of entrepreneurs and seeing them on the other side of the table and being like, there's no difference between me and them. Uh, really, uh, all they had was the guts to like go out there and make it happen. Good for you. So no, that is that is awesome and ding. That's super ding worthy. Also, can I just point out that uh, Mark's socks have sharks on them? Absolutely uh, stellar, Mark. Stellar. Uh, so, oh man. Okay, so raising the money isn't the you know isn't terrible. I'm curious, and I I didn't. Uh, go and, and I shot the preview video this morning. It's been a hectic day. I haven't had time to go and look. Um, is, is, is $12 for a stick of organic aluminum free deodorant, um, expensive. I, I'm not sure where that falls on the range of, uh, pricing, but $14 for the spray. I mean, depending how many, how long is the spray bottle going to last? That's, that's the thing. So she's got great margins. She can absolutely afford, <coughs> excuse me. She can absolutely, uh, afford the, uh, the $1 million note as long as she continues sales. Now they didn't get, um, they didn't, they didn't go. Did I miss it? I don't think I went. Did they mention the sales for, for past the 2019? Um, did I just not write it down? Because I I know I wrote, I wrote down the, the the numbers for for the cost and the and the and the price, but I I guess either they didn't mention it yet or or something. But um, but you know, awesome background. Uh, seems like a really go you know go getter. Uh, Sarah, I would love to have you come here on the show and talk about your Shark Tank experience and and your business and all that. Uh, so just reach out in the comments down below and we'll make that happen. I went out. I had this idea. Started with a personal need and was like. Screw it. What's the worst that happens? So 2019, first year, bootstrapped, had a full-time job, did $125,000 in sales. Second year was 2020. We did $700,000 in sales. Ooh. This year, we are on track to do $2 million in sales. Oh, gotta be kidding. That's not bad. Did you do any type of laboratory testing that shows efficacy of the deodorant? We have not yet. They're really pricey. All of our ingredients have been tested for safety, tested for efficacy by the manufacturers of the ingredients. So that was um, sufficient Ooh. for the claims that you, we wanted you're, you're to make. You're a powerhouse, Sarah. I get it. I, de I get it. This just isn't my space. You okay. know, it's not a product that Mr. Wonderful is going to get behind because I don't add a lot of value to it. I don't think you're worth six million bucks. But anyways, I'm not going to fight you about it. I'm out. Thank you. Yeah, in terms of yeah, it's a little early for the for the six million dollar valuation, but there's room to move up, right? I mean, at th you know, she's looking for the three hundred thousand. We haven't found out what she wants to do with the three hundred thousand yet. So there's there's still, you know, if she's willing to to give up, you know, I I would think if she can, ten, you know, I, I mean, look, you go up to ten percent and 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 you're down to three million, right? And uh, but I, I feel like maybe there's room to get to like seven and a half percent, um, maybe ten percent, depending if it's the right shark or if you get two sharks in a deal. It could, you know, it could potentially work out. Uh, so it's it's definitely a little early. But I understand why she came in where where she's at. Uh, just where as far as the the dollar value is, is it, it's a little tough to get there. Your evaluation, I, I usually don't care, but there's not nothing that just hits me over the face saying. There, there's there's that hockey stick coming for sure. I think for sure I can tell you the hockey stick is coming because those gyms that we got postponed in COVID, we just launched with in the last month. 
We put our products in every single soul cycle nationwide um, starting two weeks ago, and we are seeing a conversion, essentially zero CAC aside from the product cost. Yeah, that is cash, a massive channel cost. So if you're in all those gyms, you've got to convert fast because your cash to do that is going to be significant. And that's exactly why we're raising money. It's just hard for me to quantify that as an investor. So Is there for those a question reasons, specifically you'd like for me no, to quantify? No, because it's still uncertain, right? But coming in at a $6 million valuation, even if we negotiate some, because you I'm know. I'm totally open to negotiating. I know. I'm here to negotiate Mark, a deal. please give this woman $300,000. Please. Uh, uh, I'm out, <laughs> Sarah. I'm sorry. I'm here to get a deal. Sarah. And all I need is the connection. Oh, that's tough. Um... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I look at, like I just got done saying in the you know, last time I paused the video that three, she, you know, looking for three hundred thousand five percent. She has room, you know, in theory has room to go up, probably up to ten percent. I don't think she would go much higher than that, uh, it, you know, without raising more money um, along the way. But um, really, really awesome to see, like being able to push that product into a market that uh, can enable her to move a whole lot of product in a very short period of time. And and get that that hockey stick that they're talking about, um, it's it's not unlikely. I mean, the the great thing about here this is, is it's a consumable product, right? And once you have somebody hooked, they're gonna you know in theory they're you know a good percentage of them should continue to come back, and then you can continue to grow the business and and find new customer base. Um, you know, when you when you're talking about like forty to sixty percent um, people returning for the product, maybe seven, you know, as high as seventy or eighty percent, you know, you're going to be able to to do that really quick. Um, but I, again, the the cost again, I should have I should have looked it up. I would love to hear in the comments if this is a, a you know what what space in the pricing this is because twelve dollars for one stick of one stick of deodorant does seem pretty uh, expensive overall, but it, I mean, it comes, you know, with the, the benefits. Yes, Barbara. I think you're the whole package. I mean, you've got it all, all right? Thank you, Barbara. Um, but what I don't like- Do you like, want to make a deal? Uh, I'll tell you what, I would make a deal with you uh, if you hadn't done one thing that I think is a fatal error, which is raise money too early. And it scares me how quickly you are moving, how enthusiastic you are, how many SKUs you have there, how you can do this, how you can do that. It's almost an overconfidence that can get you in trouble. But unfortunately, for that reason alone, I'm out. Uh, okay, so look, I I don't necessarily disagree with Barbara. In in the short period of time, she, was, she, she expanded the line um, and moved very quickly. Uh, the other thing is, is, is still not, you know, probably lingering in the back of their mind is not doing those testing yet uh, to or the efficacy of the actual product itself, not just the ingredients that they're putting into it. Uh, so that that's probably, you know, floating around in the back of their mind that that and as Sarah uh, pointed out, it's expensive to do that. So that's why they haven't done it. Um, and the fact that they're not profitable yet to say go and spend said money, um, which also probably is floating in the back of their minds, is like okay, they're not profitable yet. You already raised a bunch of money. Um, you know, where's the? They even brought up like, what's the break even point? Like, where 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 do we got to get to to make this work um, so that we're 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 you know we're profitable, we're making money. I, you know, I have to say. Um, I agree with Barb. I feel that when you raise a lot of money fast and you start getting into so many SKUs, it winds up you get in trouble. Mm -hmm. If you had come in with some great efficacy numbers, I would have been in for all of these reasons. I'm sorry. I wish you good luck, but I'm out. Oh. Thank you, Lori. Now there's one shark left, Damon. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence about this. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the fence about this. How do you like the valuation? I don't like the valuation at all, but if you want us to get up and go to work at 5%, that's challenging. I'll give you 300000 for 20%. Wow. yippee yi 20% is, is a lot more than I came here wanting to give up. I yeah, it's a lot less than I want to take, too, but... Would you be open to doing $300,000 for 12%? That okay okay all right uh, hold on, hold on that that's actually not a terrible counter um that's it, it, you know it's still probably pushing 
probably going to end up pushing to 15% if Damon's willing to get there, if he can get there with in his mind. But that uh that is a that's a that's a that's a pretty solid counter. I mean, it makes me think she probably came, you know, prepared with a certain percentage that was the max. Now will she cross that line? I I don't I don't know if Damon comes down to to 15%. But here's how I here's how I look at, it, right? Um clearly you know, Sarah's got a winner on her hands. As uh, even if it's not currently making money, big picture. You know, here's the way I, I always try to look at. It. Like when you're talking about something that, you know, she could make a new, you know, change the formula if it's not like trade secret or patented, which you wouldn't patent a formula because you could just change it. But like she could go and do this again if she had to. Uh, debt aside, um, to me getting a deal with Damon is worth so much more than the 20% you're giving up because of the fact that you're going to have so many more gyms opened up to you with all his CrossFit uh, opportunity um, partnerships and things he has going on. But really uh, just the opportunity for him to pay you and then you get to work with Damon and Damon's team. Like that's, I, you know, on something that, like, she could make this again. She didn't put out the money for it, like, those studies and things. Like, that, to me, would be the almost the equivalent of, like, putting in the money for a patent, right? So it adds, equi- like, um, the, a value to the to the business that isn't just sales, you know, profit, um, you know, profit-related. Like an we asset. are not starting at the starting line. What do you think a shark premium is? What do you think it should be worth? I think a, I would be giving a significant shark premium for 12%. I have gotten this business here essentially on my own by hustle and hard and work. that's why you have an offer. <laughs> I don't think it's any other product I'm going to do 12%. She's that terrific. Is She's amazing. But the deodorant is great product. Just all the other stuff I'm not sure. Come in with me. And for that, it's great product. I will Let's I have the hustle. I came here, you guys. I was hiking on Griffith Observatory two hours ago. Sarah, I got a stop, call stop, from stop, the stop. producer. Asking and here if he's I am. got any flexibility what? on 20. Wait, what? I literally was hiking Griffith Observatory, sweating in the hot, hot sun. Sarah, Sarah, and I Sarah, came here Sarah, because I Sarah, want to focus on him. He gave him an out. offer. Ugh. Oh, no. Are you sure? Wait, you got you got a call two hours ago? Two hours ago? That deserves an offer. What do you say? Two hours uh, together? Yeah. That's a lucky sign. That never happens on Shark Tank. <laughs> Mark, Barbara. What? Wait, what? Wait, 300K what? for 14%. How about 400K Just say, for 14? What you're worried about is the conversion number, right? Yes. So 2% in advisory shares. A So 12%. $300,000. 12% equity, 2% advisory shares that you issue after the deal and the note converts. All right. I, 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 you got to, like, okay. Don't don't let it walk. Don't let it walk away. To get to work with Mark and Barbara on something that, again, you could, in theory, take that formula, start again tomorrow, and, and, and you, I mean, you, you got it. You, you, that, you got to take it. But, uh, but I, I want to know the story, Sarah. I really want you to contact me in the comments because uh, you you were I I need to know more about the story. <laughs> the story. How are you? You were hiking to like? Did you just like w- wander away from the trailers or something? I don't. How does that? How does what? What? I would can issue the advisor shares after the note converts. Correct. They would be diluted post. Right, 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 right. That takes care of your problem with that other investors. That. Okay. I... The investor should be thankful. What are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> so, so... Would you be willing to do $300,000 for 10% and 4% advisor shares? I want to minimize my dilution. Are you guys interested? Yes. We have a deal. Done. <laughs> wow. Oh, Ding day. I never thought I'd be in women's deodorant business ever. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hug you? Yes, oh, absolutely. Oh. How did that happen? Two hours ago, you were hiking in a mountain, and now you made a deal? And I will say, I didn't even shower. I used our deodorant spray, and I smell amazing right now. So the product works. <laughs> Does it smell like a right. roll It smells great. Right. Thank you guys so Cheers. much. I know, that's impressive. My God. That's impressive. Congratulations. All right, 18%. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Sarah. Uh, 
Woo! I'm like shaking. I've been a solo entrepreneur through a pandemic and it's been really lonely and hard and having people like them to to help me like get the business to the like, next level is like amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Sarah, please, please reach out in the comments down below so we can get you on for an interview. Uh, like Fix Fish, who was on Shark Tank last season or earlier this season, I forget. They just wrote today, Joe, thank you. We enjoyed your take and always look forward to your reviews of the pitches. Well, that's awesome to hear. I, I, Fix Fish, I would love, or yeah, Fish Fish, I would love to have you on as well uh, to talk about your Shark Tank <laughs> experience and how business is going and all that uh, here on the show. So just start, reach out in the comments down below. We'll, we will make that happen. Looking forward to it. Uh, if you want to check out their, uh, Sarah's website and social media with me, click up here. If not, I'll see you in the video down below. Take care and go be super.